Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. Okay, in today's video we're going to be looking at algebraic expressions in words and we're going to be taking some word problems, all right, on algebraic expressions. So what does it really mean? It's all about um you know uh um taking the algebra out of words. Okay, trying to express uh whatever is being stated in algebra all right whatever is stated in words we're trying to express it in algebra so we can solve a problem all right so it's more of word problems so we must first learn how to express uh, from words into algebra okay so here our first first example is um, the sum of a number x and nine squared oh sorry before we uh, get on to the video so sorry to cut you short please do do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel you can check our website for summary notes study guides free practice questions your GED math formula sheets all in dtwgdprep.com okay just go to this website you'll see everything you need in this website all right you can also join our facebook group community we're over twenty two thousand members you know you can ask your questions as regard the GED in your in your state, be the GED high set, okay, in um, New York, California, Arizona, whichever state in Florida you can ask. There are the communities here. Almost everyone in the in any state would help you, okay. Just ask your question and they would direct you. You know, provide you with free resources and all oh, and motivation when you need them. All right, so let's get back. And also, if you need one on one tutoring, you can contact me at tutor, GED Maths, Science, Social Studies, and RLE. Okay, so you can contact me. All the links to all this would be in the video description box of this video. Okay, so now the first question here is the sum of a number x and y squared. Now, in some questions, they won't put this, the sum of a number x, because they've given you what the number is. Some questions, you will just see the sum of a number and y squared. Now, a number means it's unknown. So you can use any variable. That's where algebra comes in. On your unknown, you can use x, you can use any letters from a to z. Okay, so, but, you know, um... In maths, we're always familiar with X, Y, Z. Okay, it's always easy to use. Okay, because it's very different from other letters. Most other letters might be too small and look the same and all that. But X, Y, Z, um, that's why maths mathematician pick, uh, you know, picked up these numbers because it's quite different from every other number. Okay, so now we represent this. It says the sum. Sum means addition from the meaning of the word sum addition okay so the sum of a number so a number which is the unknown we make the number x so the sum of x and that's plus nine squared what's the meaning of squared squared means it's raised to the power of two okay if uh it was the sum of a number and the square root of nine that is another different expression if it's the square root of nine you will see this okay so there's a difference between squared and square roots please note this okay now uh so the answer for this is x squared plus nine uh, x plus nine square now number two says a number y divided by five and then increased by six a number y divided by five and then increase by six. So a number, which is the unknown, which we've stated as y, divided by five. So that's y divided by five, and then increase by six. What does increment increase mean? It means addition, you are adding. So it will be what? Plus six, okay? Plus six. So this is the expression for number two, all right? Now, number three says the product of a number x and the difference between 12 and another number z. Do you see this? It says what? The product of a number x. So x 
is going to what? Multiply. That's the product of a number x. Okay? It's going to multiply and, which is this uh, multiplication and, then the difference between 12 and another number. So everything here now, because x, it says the product of x and the difference between x and another number. So is this x would multiply everything here. That's what this statement means, okay? So x times everything here is the difference between 12 and another number z. So that will be 12. The difference means subtraction, so minus z. What is the other number, which is z? So this is the expression for number 3. Do you see that? x, the product x, and the difference between 12 and z. Now, look at number 4. It says 3 times the sum of a number and 7. 3 times, times is what multiplication. So, 3 times the sum of a number x and 7. So, 3 times x plus 7. That's what it means. 3 times, so here, then all this. So, 3 is multiplying all this. And what is all this? It's the sum of a number x and 7. So, we have this 3 times x plus 7. Okay? Now, number 5 says, the difference between the square of a number y and 10. The difference, that's what subtracting. Okay? We're looking for the difference between two things. So, between the square of a number. So, they've, we've stated the number as y. So, y square, okay, and 10. So, y square minus 10. So, the difference between the square of a number and 10. So, this is the answer. Now, number 6 says, the square of a number, the square of a number, which is what? x square minus, minus 2 times another number so 2 minus 2 times another number z so that's 2 times z okay this is 2 and this is all right At minus 2 times z so which the final expression will be x squared minus what 2z do you see that now this says the quotient of a number x and 4 what does this statement mean the quotient that's the result, okay, of a number x. That's x is the divisor, okay, and uh, uh, no, no, x is not the divisor. X is the um, is is a is the numerator. Y four is the denominator. So that will be what x over four, all right. The quotient of a number x over four, then increased by the number itself. All right, increase by the number itself. So what is the number itself? The number itself is x. So x over 4 plus x. Okay, now number 8 says twice the product of a number y and the square root of 121. Twice the product of a number y and the square root of 21. So we're going to do twice the product. All right. So that would be what? Two twice the product of a number. What's the product of the number? That's y. Okay. The product of y and the square root of 21. So square root of 21, that's times the square root of 1, 2, 1. So twice the product. So this is the product. You know, this from here, this is two times all this. And what is all this? All this is the product of a number, y, and the square root of what? 121. So that's y times 121, which will be two uh, in parentheses, y times the square root of 121 is 11. Do you see that? So if you want to finally, finally resolve it, it becomes uh, y times 11. So that will be 11y and everything will become 22y as your answer, you know, providing, you know, there can be options in the GED test like this. Okay. So here, number nine says seven less than the quotient of 21 and a number. 
okay seven less than all right so seven is less than all this so it means seven will come you know after so the quotient of 21 and a number you can make the number x so quotient of 21 and a number means 21 over x and seven is less than this so that will be 21 over x minus seven okay now for number 10 is it says 15 less the cube root of a number plus four now you can see these two statements are different this is seven less than this is 15 less 15 less means 15 minus okay minus the cube root of the cube root which is this of a number plus four that will be a number can be what x or y so x plus four so this is the answer 15 less that's 15 minus all this all right you can see these two statements are quite quite different so these are major word uh problems you can find in uh, larger word problems in your ged so it's just to understand how to express them all right here we have um you know bigger expressions of you know statements so in the ged or in any word problems don't be scared of oh so many texts and all no no don't be scared of it all you need to do is read just be patient and read don't be scared because uh you there might be so much text but it is not all you need all right it's just something specific according to the question that is asked now look at this it says a wildlife conversation organization is receiving a donation of one thousand dollars plus five dollars for each adopted animals receiving a donation of one thousand dollars plus five dollars for each adopted animal if more than 100 animals are adopted which expression could be used to calculate the donation amount based on the number of animals adopted so it says which expression could be used to calculate the donation amount based on the number of animals adopted we don't know the number of animals adopted is x so we made it x okay but we know that the organization will first receive one thousand dollars okay which is fixed all right then plus because you know we're calculating we want to know the total amount that it's going to receive so it is plus five dollars for each adopted animals and, but we don't know how many adopted animals so all we can think of is let's say uh for instance uh there are, according to the question there are x adopted animals all right so to know how many plus five dollars we are going to add for each adopted animals it's just simply five times x okay five times the unknown value x because it says there's a sure one thousand dollars plus five dollars for each adopted animals and we don't know how many adopted animals here you can see here it says if more than 100 animals are adopted but we really don't need this this okay in this particular question we really don't need this 100 you can see where uh, uh you know questions can just try to other checks can try to you know confuse you and all that because the question is asking that we should just calculate the donation amount based on the number of animals adopted which is unknown all right so to know uh the total we add up the fixed amount um the, the conservation will collect and plus five dollars for each adopted animal so the unknown which is we don't know how many adopted animals will be x times what five dollars for each and this would give us this expression would give us the total amount that the organization will receive in donation okay so this is the answer now number two says the difference between eight times a number and five times a second number is divided by the sum of two and a third number which of the following expressions represent the series of operations okay there was supposed to be an options by the option like abc but i removed it all right so we can do it all right not to guess now it says the difference between 
8 times a number, let the number be x, and 5 times another number, let this number be y. So the difference between 8 times a number, which is 8x, and difference minus 5 times another number, 5y, is divided. Okay, you can see the way we're taking it step by step, just the way we've been taking step by step. It's divided by the sum of, so sum, which is this, we're adding addition, sum of two and a third number, that would be two, we can make the third number what z, so two plus z. So this would be the expression, okay, of this statement here. All right, so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this uh, video a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, and loved ones. You can check out our website for more. That's dtwgdprep.com for more, um, you know, resources, study guides, summary notes, and also you can join our Facebook group community and contact me for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I will leave all the links in the video description box of this video, all right? And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. He's the one who's gonna give you strength, he's gonna give you life in abundance, make you a new creature, take everything old out of your life and bring in the new and wash you clean as white as snow. He, he is gonna do that, he has the power. Okay, all power belongs to God. No power belongs to anything terrorizing you or challenging you in your life, in your health, in your relationship, in your marriage. God has the power to give you peace that passes understanding in whichever situations you are passing through. He has the power. Come on to him today and he would give you life and peace in abundance in the name of Jesus. All right. Thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. And uh, remember you're destined to win in your forthcoming GED test and also in life in general and everything you pursue, you are destined to win. See you in our next video. Bye.